So guys, we just arrived at Narok town. We wanna make a stop over a little bit so that we can get something to munch. I guess we're starving. Are you starving, Don? I'm starving. <laughs> you're starving. Edwin, you're still starving. You're starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was so, a long ride. Yeah, it was a long ride. So we wanna get something real quick, something to oh, make our stomach. Uh, full and then uh, we stretch a little bit so that we can still continue with like a uh, 20 minutes drive 20 minutes drive and then uh, we go to the community that you're supposed to go to yeah i hope you stick around we want to get something to eat so should i think i should show, show you where we are i know Here we are going to get something to eat let me show you yep Uh, uh, Guan. So this is where we are going to get something to eat. Yeah. A good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is where we are going to eat. He's welcoming right, us, I guess. Yeah. Let's go. We see what you got. Yes, man. Say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> From Naro. From Naro, yes. So, guys, this is Narok Town. This is where we are right now. We're gonna go and get something to eat. What? What? Take a charge. Is what we do. Is the camera or the phone? Charge for the camera and the phone. Yeah. Uh, so guys, we have ordered our, what do we call it, As goat meat, grill goat meat, that is a... Uh, oh, that was a goat meat? No, no, cow meat. Oh, cow meat. Cow meat. Yeah. Okay. yeah, Nyama Choma has basically is home to Kenya. With Ugali, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Ugali. Yeah. So we want to wait for it, we devour, and then now we continue with our journey to where we are supposed to head to. Yeah. So it's right here. So guys, uh, this is the Nyama Choma and we got uh, Ugali here. We are now doing some justice on it. Uh, the Kenyan way of doing it. We are actual warrior here. Yeah. We're gonna give our guy into so the to end 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 for more information oh, exactly what. Hey. So what's up guys? What Welcome about? back to the channel. Simil underscore traveler again here and we are headed out to we are headed out to the Maasai land let me see let me see some guy is asking here for something hey, let me see if I have something oh my god let me see yes thank you you're welcome nice journey ah. So guys, as I was saying before, I got interrupted by the guy who wanted something anyway. So we are headed now out to the little adventure into the into the Maasai land, to the community land. And we have our guide here. I want to say hi. Yes, hi. Introduce yourself. I'm Geoffrey Kudete. Mm -hmm. I'm a Maasai. You're a Maasai? Yes. Well, you were born and raised here in the Maasai land? Yes. Okay, for the for how long have you been here? Okay, uh, I was born here uh -huh. uh, just uh, 31 years ago. Wow. Yes. Yeah, 31 years in... You have a lot of experience from boyhood, my warriorhood. Yes. And then I guess you are young. Yes. 
I don't want to say that. Anyway, so guys, uh, let's embark to the journey to the Maasai in the street. Yes, and that was straight. Okay. So this is Narok. 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 What's so special about Narok? Okay, here uh, we have uh, a rich culture. Yes. Whereby this place you find people with Maasai. And uh, Maasai is doing things. Uh, yeah, people mm -hmm. uh, actually uh, sticking to their culture. Yeah. Even right now, in the 21st century. Uh -huh. uh, here also, you can see there are wild animals here. Oh, you live among us, the Masai Mara National Reserve yes. and uh, Game Park, right? Yes. Okay, so you get a lot of tourists around the area. Yes, so we have the seventh wonder of the world. Like, the wild beast. The wild beast migration. Migration, both the Mara River. Uh -huh. uh, the big five. The big five. Uh, the lion, rhino, people. So here, it's quite special. And, uh, Many tourists visit this place. Yeah, so as you have heard, guys, Maasai Land is a national treasure for Kenya, I guess, and also to the world because they still preserve their culture. And right now, we are going to experience that what they have been preserving for so many years. And we want to indulge ourselves there. We want to learn and get to experience the life the Maasai people live as our guide has said here that is Geoffrey right yes yeah and uh, that's where we're headed be sure to stick around and uh, get to enjoy this journey and to learn one or two things by the end of this uh, vlog so stick around how far is it from here now 10 minutes? Uh, you can say 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Up there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, go for it. It's hard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's hard, hard because of also the terrain. So, yes. you don't expect this place to be good. Guys. I told yeah, you we're going down. Very, yeah. Now we are going down, down, down the plains. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is actually the key I think about. I think about, I think about Nairobi weather. I think about this weather. Yeah. <laughs> So these are going to Nairobi. These are going to Nairobi. So it's like a in the middle of the church. We'll take a break here. Get to refreshments. So guys you can be able to tell that uh, also Narok County they got a very nice it's a growing town, let's say so, right? It's a growing town. Do we need to classify it as a town or a... It hasn't gotten to that status of being a city, right? Yeah. It's still a small town. Yeah. This is the normal hustle and bustles of each and every town. Business here and there. But right now we are in the Maasai land, so don't be surprised to see large herds of cattle walking around the road, you know? And the town itself. Yeah, it's something that is normal. Yeah, majority of them are Christians. Ninety-nine percent of them yeah, are Christians. So, what about the other one percent? The other one percent, with uh, no Muslims. I think. Mo Muslims. Huh? Okay. Muslims. Huh? Okay. I never. Th I have never seen a um, a Muslim Maasai. So that's something that I should maybe. 
Christians. Because you know, you'd be, be taking the Maasai, what I think about is like, you know, just and then, after that, they're from the me, they sort of came far away from uh, Western civilization. Yeah. So the white man did not reach to them with the Bible, that's what I'm thinking. Yes. So you're trying to say that the white man reached them yeah. with his Bible saying, hey, forget about all your religion, yes. The yeah. Bible, John Christianity. Yeah. Save yourself. Save yourself. <laughs> so very interesting. When you look at new. when you look at uh, the, uh, the, the the traditional Mas the the, the, the Maasai. Uh -huh. uh, okay, the, it is not different. What they worshipped before even the, the the missionaries came. Okay. Is actually they they worshipped the the, the the God. Worship God. Yes, and they call the God and Kai. 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 Yeah. So, 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 heaven. so when they when they were taught about the now the, the biblical uh -huh. Jesus and God, they accepted Amen. immediately. Immediately. Okay. Outright. Okay. So because it is not even uh, far from what uh, they worshipped they are after. Yes. Yeah, because I remember also we used to learn that they would even give offerings in terms of uh, uh, the gods, you know, the same way it's biblically for for the Israelites, how yeah, they used to yeah, do right. it. Yeah. So they were also great worshippers because they would go to the mountains. The old guys would go to the mountains to pray for rain. Yeah, yeah. And this, then, uh, the same thing that used to happen to the yeah, other and communities. And it was believed that before they came, they came back home. They would travel to the mountains and you pray. Can pass. We go? Yes. This way? Yes. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, we were tough. We are <laughs> lost into the history until <laughs> we have forgotten the way. It shows yeah. uh, everything is interesting and yeah. it's moving. It's moving, yeah. 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 Today you're learning a lot. I learn a lot. <laughs> Everyone we are meeting is just knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extremely knowledgeable. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, uh, the, the way they were worshipped there before uh -huh. is quite different because they will pick. Uh, they say because they are uh, they, they are pastoralists, okay. so they they have large herds of animals, cattle. Yes. Yes. So when they pray, they just milk a cow, uh -huh. and then they give they pour the milk upward. Oh, okay. interesting. That is, they are because their their God is in heaven, eh? okay. so they pour upward okay. so that God will receive. But out of gravity, the yeah. milk will fall down. fall down. But they, they actually assume, and they also believe that God has received. Has received. Okay. That when they worship, they pour milk up. Yeah. Upward. Okay. That is long, long ago. They say, God. Uh, and Kai, <laughs> receive, receive our sacrifices, receive our offering. Yes. <laughs> okay. I hope you did all that, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of information that people need to understand. Yeah. So guys, as you have heard uh, from our tour guide here, Jeffrey, right? Yes. A lot comes with uh, a community uh, so that it can be distinguished from another. So the, uh, the way of doing, the way of living and the way of doing of the Maasai is a little bit different from what other tribes like the Kikuyus, the um, Luos or the Luyas, they have their own way of living. You know, so a lot comes with uh, one community to be distinguished from the other. Yep. Yes. Yep. So we are on the, this is the journey of learning, the journey of tapping into a different uh, legion from where we come from and wherever we, we live, you know. We travel to experience different things, we travel yes, we to learn, we travel to, oh. Oh. to uh, acknowledge that what our country has, you know. So if you are getting uh, some things or some uh, information about 
what where we're headed to that is the, in the Maasai land that you're getting something about the Maasai that you didn't know there are so many facts about the Maasai that maybe they have not been sold to the world and maybe I don't know so that's why I have traveled all the, this way to come and learn about uh, the Maasai community I hope and um, guess it's going to be a one lifetime experience that I live to live every now and then right yeah, let's go. Bro, we get your barabara. Papa. Guys, uh, we just stopped along the road to get to see the view. To see the view here. And also to see some uh, wild animals that are around here. This is one thing that uh, you should be proud of. The pride of being a one community. People travel miles and miles to come and uh, visit your community so there are some uh, let me turn my camera and show you there are some uh, zebras somewhere there let me show you there are zebras there let me try and see My guy here is trying to get some drone shots but the zebras are trying to run away. <laughs> they are being scared by the drone. But anyway guys, this is the view. This is the view from here. We are in the heart of the Maasai land. Yeah? So there are some animals that are grazing around here. We are yet to reach the Maasai. Uh, we are We are yet to reach to the heart of the Maasai land. We are yet to get into the community itself. So guys, it's an amazing experience. So stick around and let us go to this journey. Faith is the... Yeah. To my... To my... Yeah, sorry. So we have detoured, we are, there is a Tumaini estate, that's where we are headed to, I guess this is where now you can be able to find uh, the community at large, right? Yes. Yeah, I guess that we are headed into the, deep into the village. Yeah, and uh, he's the one who is guiding us to where we are headed to. Our warrior here. Our warrior here. <laughs> I'm here. My King Jeffrey. Yes. King Jeffrey, the warrior. Warrior. So. Yeah. What what one thing that makes you a proud a proud Maasai someone that you you go up with your chest up like I'm, I'm a Maasai you tell people that what one thing that make you a proud member of the Maasai member community. of the Maasai yes what yeah. a one thing uh, yes. that what one is one thing that makes you a proud Maasai that you love to tell people about okay uh, one thing that makes me proud to be Maasai. Uh -huh. That, that pride of actually being a Moran. You a see? Moran. What is yeah. a Moran? A Moran is uh, uh, when you're a man, uh -huh. uh, given all the responsibilities of guiding your community, you are uh, uh -huh. uh, 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 one person who is taking care of others. Uh -huh. Yes, that is being a Moran. Wow. So proud of that. Yes, the, the, respons the responsibility, responsibility that yes. comes with being uh, a moral man. Not, 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 not a lot of people say that I'm proud to take all the responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them, but I know I don't want the responsibility. Yeah. To you, man. Yeah. Like when I was learning about the Maasai community when they are doing the initiation period, uh -huh. there is that one person who carries the scene of the whole age set. Yes. Is it Olopolos? Oh, yes, Olopolo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. There is that one person who carries the burden of the whole age set. Yeah, so, so he like a chief. Yeah, yeah, is yeah like the chief of that age set. So uh -huh. in case of that age set uh -huh. goes out of its way, yeah. that one person now like uh -huh. the Moran, uh -huh. the one who is responsible for that age group, is the one who is answerable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, guys, uh, traveling is uh, acquiring knowledge. A lot of knowledge. Yeah.
coming from school so guys you can be able to say they also uh, apart from being pastoralists you can be able to say they have a uh, cornfield that is maize field yeah, and they also indulge themselves into like uh, agricultural activities right yeah so these are fields they are full of corn i guess they were uh, they are trying to di di diversify their Way of, uh, way of living. Yeah. <laughs> the young boy. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. sorry. Sasa. Sorry for scaring you. Fresh in front of your face. I'm scared a little young dude. Alright. So I'm almost there, right? In the left or straight? Uh, in the left or straight? Oh, bad on the back. the place there the Masai's are in terms of uh, agriculture nowadays they actually take their land yeah, and yeah. Out to, because they have realized <laughs> apart from uh, from keeping life yeah they are in other people of living yeah there is more there is more to yeah. uh, to livestock yeah Guys, you can be able to see fields and fields of land. And all these medicines or chemicals. No, no so they are they are just natural. Yeah, the herbs, right? Yes, they just uh, feed on herbs. Okay, that's yes. why also the meat will be so tender. Tender, yes. yeah. See. Yeah. So guys, we are tapping into the heart of the Maasai people. And the Maasai people right now are building nice houses, more than the way they used to build like the Manyatas. Yes. Yeah. That's a good development, man. People are, especially when it comes to like, people are getting educated and exposed to the world, they see there is more to life than just being a pastor inside. Yeah. Uh, education is also changing now. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, the education is changing everything. Yes. Because yeah. uh, as you can see, this young generation yeah. are building better houses uh -huh. than yes. their forefathers. Yes. Yeah. You know, right now, maybe the, the um, let's say like the forefathers will be like, oh, we just want to have cows. Yes. We want to. Um, be pastoralists move from one plane to another, one place to another. Yeah. And that is it. But right now with the education, yeah. like someone goes to school, becomes an engineer, wants to settle down, sees the world in a different perspective. And then now you, okay, I want to settle down, I want to buy land, I want to build a mansion. I want to make my parents live a stable life other than just having to walk from for miles and miles grazing cows and rearing sheep you know yes yeah so that's another contributing so you know factor they the uh, i don't know to know where they are yeah. the long 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 ago, they had no permanent dwelling neck. they moved from one place to the other mm. yeah. to be with others uh, 
and uh, the, the advanced adventurers. So, so, so the chances are very high. They, they go deep into the thicket uh -huh. or the bushes, yeah. and it's not easy to get them. Like, so they yeah. have like a tag with the band. So that wow. we know they have. Feel mad at see we can get where they are. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and those bells have different way of ringing, right? Yeah. So they are different. So whenever maybe you hear this sound, you know that's not my cow. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a bell that. Uh, is it true? Yes, it is true. Wow. wow. It is true. The bell also will chase uh, actually chase away the predators. The predators. Oh. Uh, ones that can feed on those animals. So the, so the they, noise itself. When they hear the noise of mm -hmm. these bells, mm -hmm. they run away. They run away. Like the lions, uh, hyenas. Oh, that's another way of uh, uh, yeah. chasing away the hyenas. The hyenas are here, but uh, they hide during the day. Okay. Uh, they hide during the day. And then they, in, deep in the thickets. Uh, the thickets. And then at so night. At now, night, you'll see, you'll hear them uh, roaming around. Ooh. Looking for food. For food. So when there is uh, one cow which has uh, actually strayed, and yeah. they will feed on it. There was a, a route to go to where we were supposed to go, uh -huh. but it's no longer being used. Okay. Well, that was a perfect thing, eh? We've yeah, seen yeah. the zebras. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Unexpected uh, just happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we have just arrived to our destination. I guess this is where we are going to experience our adventure. Uh, first of all guys you can be able to to see the ambience and how the place looks like these are the maasai live a very 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 simple simple life you know a mud house and the land is demarcated with some few timbers here and there then now where they keep their cows and stuff you know so this is the environment and uh, our guide has gone to talk to the chief of the village uh whew. so our guide that is uh, king jeffrey has gone to talk to the chief of the village you know when you go to someone's land or someone's house you have to uh, uh, ask for permission to do whatever you want to do yeah so we are waiting here the, the, our guide has gone to talk to the chief of the village so that we can be given permission to explore and to experience the life of the Maasai people and the Maasai community so I'm waiting for the for Jeffrey to speak to the chief and then he comes with the with the with the information but anyway it's been a long journey oh god I feel been sitting for five hours and uh whew. thanks to the journey man so guys if you're enjoying this video make sure to subscribe and uh, like like the video yeah before before i leave guys i wanna i wanna show show you something so let me see Oh my so just a minute oh I'm having some little snacks here I don't know where my cards fell mm. I'm looking for my cards I don't know where they fell so oh, guys <laughs> We have arrived and uh, whew, it's been a, a journey, a journey of a thousand miles, but finally we are here, we are, have arrived. We are getting introduced to the community. We already bought the, the permission from the chief. 
right here we are going to get invited to one of these uh, communities by the family you know yeah blessings thank you yeah so, that's how, that's how you greet yes. the yes, kids. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, I hope you've been able to see how you tap the head of the kid. They show respect, and uh, you, as a, a grown up, that's how they you greet the kids uh, as a sign of uh, respect, you know. So, this is the this is the area this is how it looks like yeah We headed to yeah, these are women. I guess men are out in the field. Yeah, these are the Manyata houses. So guys, one thing that this one thing is that uh, let me let me tell you one thing so guys uh, one thing is that these houses are very very kind of short and uh, they are built using the small uh, wood and mud and cow and cow poop that is the cow, cow droppings yeah and most uh, one thing is that i learned they are just built by women right yes they're only built by women yes they are right. built by women okay yeah. and uh, do they have a small opening a uh, small opening uh, no, on the other side so this is how the manyata looks like from outside yeah, I think this one doesn't have a small opening, but this is the cow poop is smeared. The cow dung is yeah. smeared on the wall to make it Other stick. The, uh, the, the, the roofing. And the roofing also made with the cow with dung. The cow dung, mm -hmm. the cows and the mud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is just work for the women, and this is how they carve. They carve the the wood sticks so that they can sustain the weight of the the house. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Jeffrey, did you get uh, no. Gregory. Gregory, did you get uh, these houses are just built by women only? Oh, really? This is not a yeah, she she built it. Yeah, it's not a, a man's responsibility to build a manyata. That's the work of a woman. Because the man is outside there in the wow. field taking care of the cows yes. and also being a warrior of the community uh -huh. and taking care of the so women build these things. these are yeah. the, the responsibilities of the women to build these ones yeah, yeah so let's go in and uh see how the manyata looks like so oh so guys eh? i'm not sure so i think this is kind of like a store and uh, this is where so this is where they sleep this is what kind of where they sleep. Let me try to. So this is where someone sleeps. This is the sleeping area here. And then this is like the, the, um, the dining area and the, what is, yeah, the sitting area. Oh, very short. So where are they heading to? Now, the 
will be only the young cattle or uh, young sheep mm -hmm. that maybe outside there it's not safe for them because of their age as you can see so these ones will be there during the day so in the evening uh, maybe when the other have to come back uh -huh. then it's full out. So the kids will be left. So the, the ones that are remaining here are the, the young ones. Very young ones. And the newborns, injured ones. Newborns mostly. Mm -hmm. Ones that outside there it may be dangerous for them. Mm -hmm. Maybe because they may fall in a ditch uh -huh. and uh, not able to come out. Mm -hmm or maybe because of uh, their own safety mm -hmm. so till they acquire a given age that they can mingle and go and uh, feed with the others the others okay yeah so these ones will wait for their mother in the evening the evening yeah so this is the this is how the fencing is done this is the fencing yeah so maybe the difference in terms of where to keep sheep and where to keep maybe the, the cows. cows. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. So guys, they basically use wood to demarcate their where they keep the the cows, the sheep, and there are some sections that have been sectioned. So this is how it looks like. So guys, we want to go inside the house so that you can be able to see the setup and how it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is it, that is the bag. Yeah. Yeah. That is the bag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. What is it made out of? It is actually made of sticks and actually uh, the, the, the the mud. Yeah. Uh, the lower end. Okay. Then there are uh, uh, you can see. Yeah. So this is where they sleep. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but this is also the low, point. Low, low, low. <laughs> Cooking point. So that's a cooking. A kitchen. Yeah. It is also a kitchen inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, wow. Okay. So it's not outside. They don't cook outside. Yeah. So during the, the uh, when it's uh, raining, time, mm -hmm. when it's uh, maybe it's just like a fire. late in the night, mm. they'll cook uh, from then inside. You put a sofa here. Here you can see some the cooking pot. Uh, this is a cooking pot. Huh? Yeah. You put it here. Yeah. Then you what, make uh, a fire. What, what, what kind of food do they usually eat? Uh, they eat meat. Yes. Okay. Or garlic. Oh, that is yeah, the one we ate. <laughs> <laughs> this is also another bed, but most oh. likely for kids. For yeah. kids? Yeah. Okay. So so the from the ground, the oh, the 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 there is on, there yeah. also another bed right here. Yeah, yeah. It's so there's dark. Another bed, yeah? Oh, yeah, there is another yeah. bed here, man. So how, how many people are usually sleeping here? Well, I was ready. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's dark. It's dark. <laughs> How many people are usually sleeping here? Uh, three, three, three people. You you can have you, know? you can have a, a, a family of like five, five. five. sleeping wow. here yeah. because yeah. the kids will squeeze in one bed like two, mm -hmm. the father and the mother, yeah. and maybe like one relative or something. Yeah. So so they, why there's no windows? I mean there's only a little peak. Yeah, the windows now. So that's the window. Yeah. <laughs> why is that? Why is it so small? It's very small. Uh, I don't know why, but they, they, they just put it. Uh, they tell it's me it should be small. So I think uh, maybe to keep the heat out. Yes, yeah, that's like, like a ventilation. A ventilation. Yeah. So yeah. you know, like when it is dark here yeah. and then the heat, so they need those uh, ventilations f to aerate the room. Why? Yeah, to aerate the room. Very interesting. Yeah, Very interesting. especially so you know so sometimes. Space, but I think they manage. I mean, they are not. Big people, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> people, so uh, so you know, able to manage that. Again, when it's uh, damp, you damp like when due to heat and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So they need those small, small ventilations. Remember, this house is made of uh, cow dung and uh, small wood. Cow dung. Cow dung. Yeah, it's like smeared. Shit. Yeah, yeah, cow yeah. shit. <laughs> it's smeared on the wow. wall. Smeared of the Why wall. Is that? It acts as the cement. With, uh, with mud. 
uh-huh. water mud and cow dung. Huh? It it's like cement when you mix the cow dung uh-huh. and the sand yes. it's like the cement how we do the concrete and yes. the cement so that you can get that strong yeah, that holding of the house yeah, yeah. yeah. it's more it, it, it sound like the, it sound more of a wood yeah yeah sound more woody so yeah yeah it doesn't sound like a cement yeah very interesting and then uh there's no leakage uh, once the roof is made out of Okay, the roof is made of oh, also mud, uh, mud combined with the uh-huh. uh, uh, cow dung. Cow so it becomes stronger. So it yeah, it's a cow shit. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot leak. <laughs> so it cannot uh, leak? Yes. It doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Being claustrophobic? <laughs> no, <laughs> really. you know it's the fact that you try to see like how you try to imagine the life you live uh-huh. and the life these people still live you know it's different it's different they still live in those uh maybe like preolithic uh, ages you know yeah, yeah th- th- that's how we used to live but these people have chosen to maintain that that's the authenticity the authenticity and what that's what defines them there's, yeah there's, there's no change in that it it, it becomes them it yeah. becomes who they are uh, yeah but right now like, but right now going live somewhere else and, yeah but right now since the the education system and uh, how people are becoming knowledgeable in the technology so everyone wants to be like no i want to live in a spacious house a well lit house you know so yeah. i saw her phone how yeah. is she charging her phone and the phone yeah, she has a phone. How is she charging okay, her they, phone? They, ha- they, they have bought some solar panels. Okay. Whereby they, uh, they are aware that uh, it's, uh, actually they provide uh, electricity, uh, I think, yeah, charging. They charge, charging. Yeah, they charge. Okay. Yeah, so they have the solar panels uh-huh. here. Oh, so if you light the house at night and so also maybe to charge their like phones the too? Yeah. 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 Okay. and also maybe to charge their their radios because they want to listen to the, the news music. and music and yeah. know what's happening in the world so the main mode of communication just is the gradually audio. gradually become civilized yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they use the radio they, they get information using radio local radio stations. Radio stations. Yeah. 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 yeah yeah very interesting yeah wow. yeah uh, do you want to live like this one month for a month uh-huh. how much what is the catch <laughs> what is the catch <laughs> well just uh just getting out of your comfort zone and getting out of that yeah I, I wouldn't mind living like yeah. this for a month just to experience how the the community is living you know yeah, yeah. so i don't mind for a month for a month yeah so while mama is cooking uh-huh. uh the other me- family members will sit on the beds huh? uh-huh. actually like this huh? Yes. So mom will be seated. Here is a uh a stool. Has to. Yeah. 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 And, uh, uh, stool. and we'll be we'll be like this waiting and for the food to come. Sit there. Uh-huh. And uh, having chit chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. mom is here cooking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So we don't we well, they don't mind the smoke that is actually coming from the the, the, yeah, the smoke. Yeah, there's there. Wow, because I'm thinking about how the ventilation, how the smoke get uh, you know, it's uh, very claustrophobic and there's a lot of smoke. Yeah. So well, they're used to it. They are used to it. And uh, they are happy when they are seated. Yeah. No, that's the now that's now the mom is cooking now. This is the now this is the vibe. Yeah, now I remember when I was growing up, we used to have this kind of setting. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, uh, in our villages before we got enlightened and when we went to the big cities. But yeah. when you go back to the village, mm. yes, in other tribes maybe the kitchen is outside uh, from separated from the main house right. but you'll basically find three three stone uh, jikos or cooking area uh-huh. and maybe sufurias and those other things but this is how you sit when the mom is cooking and you are chit-chatting having banters right yeah talking about how your day was what is your aspirations so, so cooking start when it, when the dad comes back from work yeah 6 yeah. 6, six in the evening uh, yes. yeah so what about breakfast do they eat breakfast before uh, dad goes to work uh you see uh, like i had we're seeing like these are cups uh-huh. so most likely they had breakfast they had breakfast already. yeah okay. yeah then i think uh, they just have breakfast and go they don't wash dishes fast so they'll like come back wash and dishes? get dishes not immediately. Not immediately. Like Why they will have other things to do first before they come back to take care of this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so mostly they cook in the morning. Uh-huh. They take breakfast together with the. Okay. They don't eat lunch. 
they eat in the morning. They eat in the morning. Uh, the breakfast itself is breakfast the food that will actually take it on the session It will sustain them for the whole day. So till evening. Mais and the ugari. Yeah, they will uh, because they have animals here. They have milk. Okay. So in the morning they cook tea. They can even decide and say that a meal for for that day just uh -huh. milk. You take milk two cups. You go for the whole day. Wow. And, yeah. And you two know the, milk. the thing yeah. is the the milk is gotten directly from the cow. Yeah. So it is not diluted. So it's very it strong and nutrition. very mm -hmm. healthy. Nutritious. Yeah. Nutritious. yeah. And sometimes uh, others they keep it like in uh, what do they call them. The, um, the guard the guard yeah they put in a guard and they uh, wait for it to set up for a few days uh -huh. it ferments, it ferments then and then maybe they can eat with, uh, they can uh, use as a supplement for the ugali as a protein, as a protein. yeah okay. so that's that's how the, that's typically how the life is here mm. yeah Wow. So also <laughs> the structure will be built uh, if you have noted it won't have like sharp corners mm -hmm. like the houses we have yeah it will be like curvy on the corners yeah. that's also one characteristic then uh, oh, they won't be like so round shaped they look like uh, similar to a small block of bread uh -huh. mm -hmm. and also on the top it will be flat flat for the well, for most of the Maasai homes it will be like a flat top. A flat uh, top. No, it would be like a little bit curved. Curved. Oh. I think you can feel it's cool inside. It's cool, yeah. It's, it's hard cool. outside, but very yeah. cool. And yeah. also, the same thing should happen during... It's like being inside a pot. So, like, during the night now, again, it will be warm inside. Really? Yeah. So, it's the opposite. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, outside will be cold, yeah. and then inside will be warm. It will be warm. That's the reason they use the, the cow dung. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, it restores heat. It restores. It uh, yeah. it holds. It holds the heat. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's why it's very cool here inside. When you go out, it's extremely hot. So I majorly, majorly, such a house will have like almost five, four, 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 four major places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as in the traditional Maasai houses, will have like a cooking area, mm -hmm. a bedroom, mm -hmm. a stove, mm -hmm. somewhere to keep their livestock. Okay. So that where is, that's the bedroom of the that's children. The so maybe here yeah, and there. Anything the can be converted in between can be a store mm -hmm. or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And there is another no the bedroom be of the father and mother is separated from the <laughs> from the kids. From the, from the kids. kids. So yeah. the kids can maybe be here. The right, kids right, might be here. And then the I, I, I saw what the kids likes to eat in the morning. Abari. Nzuri. <laughs> <laughs> Chai na mkati. Milk and bread. Milk and bread. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Mm. So um when they're pregnant, do they do any work or do they sit at home? The man sit at home and do the work. How does that work? So when uh, in such a setup, what uh -huh. happens they you don't live here as a single family. Okay. Mostly they live uh, with the the brother, brother, family, brother to the husband, most likely, uh -huh. and all that. So now these ladies, when uh, maybe for her she's expectant, mm -hmm. uh, there are some duties she will be able to do, mm -hmm. but others that she's not able to do, maybe the other one okay. will do for her. House yeah. will do for her. Mm -hmm. but, but, uh, but mostly uh, it is the work of a other man to go and look for food for them. Mm -hmm. uh, right here at home, they just perform the household duties mm -hmm. yeah. like washing utensils yeah yeah uh, and looking after the children mm -hmm. you can yeah. you can see the mom she's not always mom. with the children they are there with they the children, children. Yeah. Yeah. but yeah. the husband yeah. is out looking yeah. for food and he's the one who is responsible yes for them to eat and, and to live a good life yeah. and to live a good life you could ask her how long uh, how long she and her husband been together uh, Yani duo ya nang, kaya Richard na ba? Yana ni yani. Long, I think long time. Twenty. So are the um, is is it the the meet with parents? Is it like a traditional where the parent just say, "Hey, marry this person," or does she just fall in love with the boy and then get married to him? Uh, in uh, the the, the Masai's don't do that. Uh huh. You are not supposed to talk to a girl. Uh, actually. Talk okay. with uh, uh, discussing that. Okay. What you do, uh 
Uh -huh. you, if you reach an age whereby you, you want to marry, uh -huh. you tell your father. Then your father will go to his friend and ask for a girl. So you will get uh, a, 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 a woman to marry yes. through, uh, arranged. It's through arranged. your father. Through your father. Yeah. So there, uh, you, you can't, uh, uh, you're not supposed to talk with her. You're given. It's, it's, it's arranged. It's arranged. Yeah. It's arranged by your, your father. By your father. Yeah. yeah, by the parents. Yeah, so, no, and, and then the, the wedding is it? Is it everyone that comes together on the wedding or the special family? It just the dad or is it the whole community that comes for the wedding? The whole family. The whole, family, the whole community. The whole, uh, actually, many people will attend the wedding, uh -huh. but it will be a traditional wedding. Traditional. And actually, the, the, the woman in question who is going to get married uh -huh. uh, actually will not disagree with what his dad will tell her. Really? So, so he will follow the husband. Okay. Uh, uh, despite uh, you can, uh, they cannot even look at the factors like age, whatever. Mm. Even if a person is eighty years old, you are, the girl is twenty years. Uh -huh. You will follow that husband, follow. provided uh -huh. it so, is your father. So, so whether you, you like him or not, you you must like him. Yes, you might. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's that's the, uh, the that's the. You, you you get a partner, then <laughs> love follows. <laughs> the love follows. <laughs> 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 yeah. So they talk about the uh, talk about the, the traditional wedding. Do they uh, do the men bring cows and give to the family, mm. the girl family? Yeah. For a dowry? The, the dowry. dowry. The dowry yeah. itself. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, you pay the dowry. What in is, what in money in or cows? In cows. 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 Uh, ten cows. Ten cows. Ten cows. That's cows. a lot of money. <laughs> it, I think it dep also depends with the market market the value, value of the yeah. cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you might get like ten the ten the but ten cows are bulls, but yeah. they are very 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 huge bulls. Yeah. 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 So the value so of that is, is expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. Ah. But yeah. you don't have to pay the, the if you're not. They look also at uh, your ability. Your ability. Your ability. Whether you. So if if you broke. If you broke, they, they, you can uh, you, you can be given time. You, you take time. the girl, you give two cows, uh -huh. then later you come and go and, and, and give the, you, you the, 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 the remaining eight. But but you but you're not gonna get the woman on the pay the, the rest of it. Or do you get her immediately? Uh, yeah, yeah, you get, you her, get her immediately, yeah. and then now you the road you you top up. Yeah, you top up the balance. balance. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you're not about to you know, yeah. 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 yeah, love or follow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Could you ask her how how long does she take to build this house? Oh, uh, normally I think it will take like a week or two to build it. Yeah, wow, for okay. well, it's it's her duty, it's her entire duty to. So she picked where she want to build it and how she want to build it. Uh, she has to say or the man has to say into it. Into where to build. Into the man will where just to identify it, where to build it. Uh, the man will just identify build here as build a responsibility. Okay. Yeah. Then it's upon her to build. It is also teamwork. Yeah, so teamwork. when they build the house, the the, 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 the women will merge together mm -hmm. like 10 of them. Wow. Uh, yeah, and they assist and help the others to build that house. It's also as a sign of communal. Mm -hmm. if, if she's newly married, mm -hmm. it's a sign of welcome. If maybe she's existing, it's a sign of being together. Being together. It's, yeah. it's a communal thing. Yeah. That's so they will never they will yeah. never let one woman like build her her own house or her own homestead mm -hmm. when others are watching from the fence. Okay. So yeah, they will I'm come, gonna, yeah. they are they bring maybe the wood, this one is assigned to smear, this one is assigned to mix the sand and the water, this one is supposed to bring the thatch. That is how it's done. So that <gasps> is, is a communal thing. So that's how they build the houses way faster. After completing they they ask for a a a a, a goat. Then a they goat. they slaughter mm -hmm. in a celebration of the new house. They having so a new house. They celebrate They're like having a party. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's like the house yeah. a house open, open yeah. house. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> house opening, whatever. Do right, what right, they right, call it? it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. So that's that. Basically, that is the simplest uh, life structure. Of a Maasai. Okay. So, what is the complex of it? What, 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 what do they struggle on a day to day? Uh, what do they? What do they struggle on a day to day? Day to day. Uh, let's say maybe like healthcare. Healthcare. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, yeah. The schooling and the transport system. Okay. How yeah. do they manage with that now? 
you know, with healthcare, I'm pretty sure there's a hospital, there's a clinic nearby that they go to, or someone come and take them, or is it like a traditional medicine that they use? Mm. They mostly use traditional medicine. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so, so if, if, if a kid is sick right now, they still they, they automatically know what that kid need for the medication, and they will give it to him. Yes, mostly they use traditional medicine. Uh -huh. After a short time, of maybe a week or two, uh -huh. when the traditional medicine is not actually respond, corresponding well with the disease, then they look for an alternative. Okay. That is, they'll take the child to the hospital. Uh -huh. yeah. So that means there is a dispensary or a clinic yes, around here? there is a dispensary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's in, that, that's nice yeah, especially with the um, with the healthcare system in Kenya advancing daily daily you get like those uh, mobile clinics yeah yeah so I guess uh, and then there was this um, I don't know something of the sort that they come and <laughs> check the the community welfare. yeah that's how. I think it's very simple for them. For me, it's is is a lot of complexity to it, you know. To understand it, what we what we know right now, mm -hmm. what we have lived through. Mm -hmm. like, even though some of us, you know, we didn't go in the in the fancy house, but we know that you know, you go to a clinic, or you have this medication, or yeah. your mom has a phone, and, and she, you know, you have like TV, you go in the community, watch the TV, yeah, uh, some type of entertainment, you know, so. <laughs> what what do the kids do for like entertainment? Is it like a game they play? Okay, for oh. well, the, the the games that they play, uh -huh. they actually uh actually play together. They play together. Uh, traditional, the traditional yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. Have, hide and seek games. Yeah, they like and seek. their toys. Yeah, so they create their own toy. Yeah, they they just have fun together all, oh. all through. Nothing digital, nothing yeah, telecommunication. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It'll be just simple as long as they're going to have fun. Yeah, so yeah. At, this, at this stage now, if a kid grew up and say, I don't want to live in this life anymore, I want to go out today, does not will be able to live in this life. Is he able to do that? Like, yeah. Some of them do that. Some of them do that. Mm -hmm. But but majority of the Maasai's will have held on the, the, the tradition. The tradition. They will they will still come out of their 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 seat their their area or their town. Uh, they go to those uh, big cities, they get to experience the life there, they get the money, maybe they might decide, uh, let me come back and build a good house for my parents. Mm -hmm. But still, they still have that, have that warriorhood or ma yeah. Maasaihood in them. Yes. Yeah. So that you'll never see a Maasai abandoning their culture. Culture. Mm. Wow. Even they, if they, you find a Maasai in the have US, something on them. Even they if you have something on them, on them that will identify like them. Like for him, you see, he just had yeah, something yeah. on him. You can see also. Right there, yeah. He has uh, the, uh, <laughs> have this one. Yeah. Uh, have That's a knife. Shine here. Yeah. 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 So they'll just have something have that something connects them, from. connects yeah. them to their culture. To their culture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that it's a, good? It's a whole lot. Guys, basically, that is the simplest uh, Maasai house or Maasai homestead. And it has been an experience. Yeah, I know there are other things that I've not experienced. Like uh, the dancing, that's one of the things, how the Maasai jump and how they slaughter their cattle or their goats. But that one is a story of another day. I'll make sure I come back to the community and make sure I bring that to you. But anyway, guys, continue subscribing, continue supporting me. And it's been another amazing experience. So I see you on the next episode. Bye bye.